I fucking missed you, dude. It's been a while. <laughs> but okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get this we'll get the the ball rolling and then we'll we'll uh, introduce you and everything. So with that being said, Nighttime with G season 2 episode 4. Let's roll the intro. Pretty cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor and privilege to present to you none none other than the famous Darren Lee Savala. Mm -hmm. Yes, I still remember your middle name, bro. Mm -hmm. (laughs) How you been, bro? How you been? Doing the dream, man. Doing the dream. (laughs) I feel like there's like a hidden meaning behind that. And I'm going to, I'm just going to keep wondering. I'm going to keep wondering about it. Because I kind of have an idea. Yeah, no, it's definitely, (laughs) definitely. um, Yeah, I know you're you're definitely reading that, right? Definitely a hidden message between all of that. Cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, this is Darren, uh, one of the OD5 brothers that, uh, you know, I'm I'm a part of in my fraternity. And uh, he actually was the president, but I don't want to take too much spotlight from him. So I'll let him kind of introduce himself, kind of give a little introduction and also like what you've kind of been up to briefly you know don't have to go too into yeah. detail if you don't want to but but yeah man okay. go for it cool so yeah uh graduated with graduated in 2018 from tamu tc uh was in i was a brother of omega delta phi crossed in fall 2013 uh shortly after graduating college i enlisted into the marine corps and have been blowing shit up and shooting shit for shits and giggles and slowly getting my way to trans- transition out and get back into the civilian world and see what's uh, what's ahead of ahead for me. Okay, okay. So you mentioned transitioning. So uh, I know you you graduated with uh, CJ major, right? Yeah, yeah, no? yeah I did. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you are you wanting are you wanting to go back into something in that field? Or uh, yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Uh, so, I mean, I just, that's the big reason why I joined the Marine Corps was so I could uh, get that competitive advantage towards someone that doesn't have military experience uh, and just a, just a degree. So, yeah, I mean, I, I joined specifically to get into law enforcement. Um, but now that I'm transitioning out, like, I, I still have my goals, my mindset on law enforcement. I'm just trying to uh, trying to figure out what else I could do because I, I know I could be used for a lot, of, a lot of different things. I think I'm a pretty, pretty talented dude, so. I'm trying to see what I'm when I get out. I'm trying to get into like a, a trade, a trade, um, a trade like maybe like electrician or like welding or something like that. Just like to get some money on the side. So I'm trying to do that, yeah. and then once I finish that, I'm gonna hit up the fucking the marshals, the DEA, or some type of federal agency that help me help me uh, bring in some extra cash and put down some bad guys. That's good. That's good. Damn, dude, that that definitely still sounds like the Darren that that I remember, mm-hmm. bro. Like I feel like. I feel like you have always been very passionate about you know your your career and just overall being um being in the professional field like just having that professional career and i i'm, I'm sure you can agree with uh, people should not stop at one thing like they should you know continue pursuing oh, wow. and just and just fighting for you know for their dream because at the end of the day it's up to us to make it happen so definitely something to admire from you dude so no, I appreciate it. No, yeah, but, but yeah. I'm definitely not. I'm, I'm not the same guy that that I was uh, in in the college though. Like I'm, de- I'm, I'm, I'm definitely different, man. Like I'm totally different. Coming in, I was 23, then coming out, I just turned 28. Today's my birthday, fun fact. But uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm definitely not the same guy. I I came in and getting out, just totally different dude. So I'm proud of where I am, where I came from, and just just the growth that I've that I that I've gone through being in the Marine Corps. Oh shit, dude! Happy fucking birthday, man! Don't don't you share a birthday with Baby John? No, John's is, so, uh, right? is on, no John's is on the twenty sixth. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Well, damn, I still, I, I, yeah, happy birthday! I still tell him every. I, t- I still tell him all the time, happy birthday on the twenty sixth. So. Oh okay. Yeah. Damn, yeah. dude! I, I honestly, honestly, I'm, I'm guilty of it. I, I did forget, but I, I knew you. Your birthday was sometime in August. I just didn't know what 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 specific day. But damn, dude, so. 28, yeah, I mean, bro. I, I, yeah, 28. I, didn't, I don't even remember either. My girlfriend's the one that told me, oh, shit. Yeah. 
to this guy. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably it's probably like uh, a different like I guess time probably flies differently where where you're at in a sense. You're not really yeah no in, yeah in, I'm just yeah. Okay okay, well damn dude, big twenty eight dude. I I do remember the way what you were talking about you know the. I guess the goofy side of Darren, but regardless though, I mm-hmm. felt like, like whenever we had, you know, serious moments though, like you definitely handled them like responsibly, I guess, like you, 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 you know, you took them at with, with severity. It, it, it was a, uh, you knew, you knew, uh, you knew how to keep that balance between like time and place of when to be serious and when, when not to. And, you know, you knew how to have fun too. So, mm-hmm. yeah, but damn dude. Yeah. It's, was, it's um... definitely been a, a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, dude, it's definitely been a difference. No, I know you're good. Um, I mean, yeah, I think I think just being in college was definitely a different environment. You know, being around everyone that was my age, and then kind of kind of like that joking, that joking type of factor, and then coming to the Marine Corps, I think it's a little more, a little more serious. Kind of, kind of uh, maybe possibility of like going to see some some type of uh, war, type of world disaster or something like that. You know, what's going on in the world right now, but. I mean, yeah, kind of just different, different, different aspects that I that I've uh, overcame and stuff like that. So, pretty, it's pretty exciting. Damn, that's that's dope, bro. Um, you don't have to like open up about it, but if you if you can't talk about it, but uh, have you been like outside of the U.S.? Yeah, because yeah. Because so, of the military, um, or no? Yeah, so I, I've been to. I just got back from deployment three months ago. I was in Japan for six months, and then. Um, oh shit! Yeah, that that was super fun. I mean, thank God, like. We were in the East China Sea, right? Um, just kind of like showing type of uh, showing uh, type, uh, some type of presence there to deter any type of like uh, just any type of fucking there's just, just to deter any type of country that's trying to get get, get smart with any type of allied nation or anything like that. So yeah, I mean, we're, I was in Japan for six months. I was on ship for a month, and then my first deployment, I was also again in Japan. Um, my first deployment was a little more fun though because we also went to Thailand, and that was that was where it was at, man. Thailand was fun. Damn, yeah. dude. Yeah. Was uh was the military your first time experiencing like a lot of things like like traveling like maybe on an airplane or had you traveled before? In in uh, that aspect, I guess. Uh, yes and no, because I mean, my first time ever went went on a plane was literally uh was coming to boot camp. That was my first time getting on a plane, and then just oh, going man. to go see family. Yeah, going to go see family. That was I had to use a plane. You know what I mean? So I mean, yeah. So I I started taking. Uh, air travel when I joined the military and then uh, then experiencing like going out uh, going out, out of the country was all through the military like it's just been it's been a surreal experience because I mean like I, I'm, I've seen things that like a lot of people aren't going to see you know what I mean so it's like you, know, you don't see that all the time like people don't always get to experience like what we've experienced stuff like that so I think definitely yeah. I've seen a bunch of things that, I've, that I'm super appreciative <laughs> damn no, well, the reason why I bring that up is because a uh, fun fact, but I personally experienced flying for the first time this, this year uh, in oh, March. Shit. Really? Yeah. And I, I definitely, I don't know if you can agree with it or not, but I mean, I'm sure you can, cause you, you've been, you know, over overseas. And for me, I just went to New Mexico from here. So it wasn't, it wasn't a far trip, but it was still, mm-hmm. um, it was still, you know, an experience to be on a plane yeah, for the first time. For sure. and, Dude, I, I was a nervous wreck, bro. My 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 parents actually dropped me off at the airport, no. and uh, they they came into town that weekend, so they they dropped me off, and uh, I I knew I had a feeling my my parents or my mom made my dad stay till the plane actually took off because oh, she yeah. thought that I wasn't gonna like she thought that I wasn't you're gonna on, do it, dude. She, you're late. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> they waited, and we actually had to land in Dallas as our first like connection or whatever. Yeah. So we beat we beat them because they were still like in san antonio by the mm-hmm. time that we made it to dallas because uh, oh, yeah. they they were driving to back to kyle which is about three hours from here so it, it was it was a it was a definitely a good experience i i i definitely had my eyes open up so i can only imagine you know whenever i get the opportunity to go overseas and just experience the rest oh, yeah. of the world so no yeah definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate good. life oh no definitely fucking um I mean, air travel to me is is different from the civilian side and then the military side because every time I'm, I'm on a on a some type of helicopter in the military, I'm scared. I'm shitting bricks. I I'm always like I throw up because it's just so much turbulence, so much noise. 
like I always have to as I always have to carry like carry like a little ziploc with me when we're going to the helos because we're, we're we're pretty high up and it's just a helo and I have to carry yeah. a ziploc because if not I start my for some reason my stomach just starts feeling queasy and so I end up throwing up so I always have to have a ziploc on me because I, I end up throwing up. But it's Damn, different with, it, with yeah, it's, but it's different with an air, airplane because like I mean it's just it's smooth it's like you're in a car but it's just you know you're in the air. But yeah, Damn, it's, that's... Pretty, it's pretty badass. The definitely getting intimate there dude shit that's, oh, that's yeah, a dude, pretty it's... deep thing like because no, yeah. you wouldn't expect that honestly like because i figured you you know y'all being in the military like y'all kind of get used to it at some point but i mean oh. it, it, it it's definitely something that i'm surprised to hear that you know you experience no. it i mean i'm sure other people do too so no yeah, yeah no down to, yeah, it's definitely a big thing uh yeah air travel is a big thing for us i think the cool i think What's cool for us is that when when I'm on it, it's usually because we're we're going down ropes and shit. I know you see in the movies and shit like that. We whatever you see yeah. in the movie, that's that's, that's, that's usually how, how my training is. That's so the training's pretty good. And so Damn. yeah, but like yeah, it's just pretty cool. We do we do like we do like fucking rappel off the off the fucking ropes off of the towers off buildings and then off uh, the helicopters. Not super high. It's just like a good a good maybe like maybe like three three flights will like midair just off the helo. So it's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, I know some cool stuff and pretty badass. Have you jumped like parachute wise or no? Oh fuck no, no. I think I'm too scared to do that. I can't even. We have to do. We have to do it. Uh, here, here we have a pool, and I think it's like 30 feet up or some shit like that. And I fucking they're like, all right, so well, your turn. I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> so I can't. Fuck no. So you're if you're telling me to fucking skydive or jump parachute shit, fuck no, I can't do that. I'm too scared, bro. Damn, it's just the so pressure. There, there is like, the pressure. I feel it. <laughs> there, there is a there is a choice, I guess, to to do it. Fuck do those no, kinds now, of they, now, or? now they push me off. Oh they, shit! Yeah, they, they push me off. I don't want to do it. They push me off though. But like, no, oh, fuck, fuck no, they push me off. Damn, yeah, dude. so that's what I'm saying. You feel the pressure, like yeah, you just feel so fucking like I don't know. You just I can't describe it. To you. It's like it's like a roller coaster, but it's like you're free falling. And so it's just, yeah. it's, just a, it's just a shitty feeling. I, I think I could do it if I just fucking warmed up. You know what I mean? Like you gotta fucking you gotta warm me up. Like just jumping off a five foot, then ten feet, twenty feet, and then I'll be able to do thirty feet. But they're they're, they're, they're fucking just hey, jump off the thirty feet or off the back. I'm like, bro, you need to chill. Like, chill <laughs> out, dude. Let me let me warm up. But yeah, yeah but I mean, we'll jump, we'll jump it, no, sorry, go yeah, ahead. I was gonna say. I mean, it makes it makes sense though that you know they kind of like. Because obviously, you know, you're you're in the military to like train and to push yourself, you know, to to push yourself yeah. in a strenuous situation. So I can only imagine why. I can I can imagine the feeling of, of you know feeling the pressure at the moment, but then after you do it, you know, you kind of feel accomplished. Like, oh, I got this out of the way. What's next? You know. Oh so. yeah, no, yeah, I, no, yeah. We've def, I've def, honestly, I, I've I've been physically <laughs> physically pushed the limit. In the military, like being in the Marine Corps, like there's been times where I'm just, and I'm 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 so hurt on my leg, like my body's hurting. I'm so, I'm I'm drenched in sweat. I'm so freaking thirsty, but it's just like you gotta keep going, man. Like you can't you can't fall behind. So yeah, I've definitely yeah, pushed dude. the limit physically. Well, um, I guess we'll we'll get into this kind of like what what would you say helped you. Um, build that courage up to one join and two like actually you know continue pushing through through each day and each training and stuff like that yeah. um so i mean i i knew i could do it because my 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 younger brother is in the navy well he just got out of the navy like i think like this this past month this, the beginning of the month he got out of the navy and um and then my other cousin's also in the navy so like if they could do it like, i could do it you know what i mean they're both in the navy but but uh yeah i ended up joining and i was like if they could do it, do it. so i joined the marine corps I, which I got into the infantry and the infantry is where you fucking get, you shoot and then obviously push your body through the physical demands. And so, I mean, yeah, honestly, when I first joined, like as, as strong as I thought I was in college, like, you know, I was working out and stuff like that. Like it didn't, I mean, it didn't really compare to, to the physical demands of the Marine Corps. Like, you know, there's hiking, like the most I hiked is, is, uh, is it 20 miles with a 50 pounds on me. And yeah, I ate, and I ate that shit up. That shit was easy, you know what I mean? But in college, fuck, no, I couldn't do that shit. I couldn't even do five for three miles, you know what I mean? But in here, I, <laughs> but, ate, I ate that shit. But you build, you built up to it, though, I'm assuming, right? Oh, like, no, yeah, def yeah, definitely. I built I got into boot camp hiking. Like, I cannot hike with the jack shit. Fuck, no. But, 
I mean, yeah, just as long as you're mentally pushing yourself and you're you're still working out and still pushing yourself, like you just I mean I'm one of the I'm I'm one of the best hikers in, in my in my company. So it's like you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's something it's just something to me that I got used to. But obviously my fucking body suffered from it, suffered from it, like my fucking shoulders are, are fucking trashed, my back fucking hurts, my knees fucking are all out of whack, my raining pool up. I could barely wipe my ass some days, you know what I mean? So <laughs> So my my body suffers Damn. from it, but like it's at the end of the day, like I served my country honorably, and um, I can't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't wish for anything else. So. I hear you. I hear you. Um, what what is one thing that that you miss from from undergrad, like maybe pre pre military kind of thing? Yeah, everybody do just hanging out with all of y'all. Just uh, regret was uh, something popped up on my screen. We can't access your video. We're not able to access yes. your video device. Oh, there it is. All right, my bad. I have to edit that. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, you're yeah, good. So, you're good. Uh, so my, I think my biggest um, would be just missed like hanging out with hanging out with the guys, you know. And I mean, I mean, I would out there because you know there was times where I was just like, y'all, you know, y'all would call me grandpa and all this bullshit. You know what I mean? And it's funny because <laughs> you're in the military, they call me the same fucking thing. They call me grandpa. They call me pops and. <laughs> So I was like, I can't get away from this shit. Like, fuck. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I mean, I would say, uh, I mean, I wish I would have drank with you. Like, now I drink. I drink now. So, I mean, I like fucking alcoholic shit, right? But like, I'll drink like, I'll drink maybe like <laughs> once a month or whatever. But I mean, I wouldn't drink with you. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It, was just, it wasn't a thing for me. But um, I'll just stop it up again. It's good. To, it's good on my end, though. So you're, you're, you're okay. fine to, okay, cool. to continue Hosting with the audio. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll say that undergrad that, and then just kind of, you know, being at the tables without recruiting. Cause I know like, it's just super fun recruiting with y'all. And then like one of the events, wearing your letters, I haven't worn my letters since, since I graduated, dude. So it's like, everything's so fucked out. All Damn. I do is wear my goddamn uniform. Like this is what I wear every day. Huh? And my shit, my fucking last name and shit this is what I wear every freaking day. So it's like, it just became a part of Damn, me. Yeah, so it's just, uh, it's just, I miss everybody. I, I wish we were all together. I know, I know I haven't been in touch with a lot of guys, but, um, I mean, I mean, you messaged me and I got, I didn't, I didn't trip. I wasn't like, I, don't, I haven't talked to you in years. I'm talking, you know what I mean? Or I haven't talked to you in whatever. So, I mean, it was just, it was good to hear yeah. from you. So it's like, I'm not going to trip. Like, if someone wants to talk to me, I'm always open to talk to them. Yeah, and I mean, I I'm definitely grateful for that too. You know that because it it is true. You know, at, at the end of the day, sometimes things kind of put us in in a in a two way street situation. But at the same time, like as long as we're will we're open minded about it and we're willing to like you know, I guess welcome people back in. Like it, it basically makes things a lot easier to you know to to go on about life with, as opposed oh, yeah. to like tripping and being like oh, as opposed to like tripping and being like oh fuck that like you know he hasn't talked to me in in a year i'm not gonna talk to him anymore kind of thing it's like it's like you know life happens you know we get busy and it, it yeah. is what it is sometimes you know but i yeah. definitely appreciate you being uh being on this and taking some time to to catch up and shit so but uh oh uh, i will sure. tell you though that like that things going. definitely yeah uh i was gonna say that i i will say though that you know things definitely have changed i mean of course you know the pandemic just affected everybody uh, in general, whether, you know, military oh, or yeah. civ civilian. Uh, so college itself has definitely gone through different transitions and shit. So it it's, right. I wouldn't say like, even I, I wouldn't say you, you missed out on anything cause you haven't, I mean, it, it's, it's just, it sucked in the real world just as much as it has anywhere else. Um, but it, it feels good to see other people or to see everyone keep going, you know, that, Basically, that the pandemic didn't like really hold anyone back and shit. So, oh yeah, for sure, dude. Um, it's funny you mentioned the pandemic. Yeah, a lot of shit has been. I, you know, it's, it's funny. I didn't even get to really experience California because of the pandemic. So it's like now that I'm trying to experience California, it's like one more game the fuck out. You know what I mean? So it's like, uh, so. But I mean, when y'all, when every, when the whole world went on lockdown, like when y'all were all locked up in y'all's houses and y'all couldn't come out for I don't know how much how long it was. Mm -hmm. I was I was on, on ship. I was on deployment. So I didn't get to experience which I experienced on, on like uh, when y'all were in, in quarantine. I didn't get to experience any of that. I experienced ship life. 
So we were still wearing no mask. We're kind of still yeah. going, we're on ship though. You know what I mean? So like we weren't coming into contact with anyone else, but people that you were on ship with. And so like, you know, as, y'all were yeah. locked down, as the whole world was locked out, like I was just, I didn't even know what was going on. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, I know. That is very crazy. <laughs> um, well, I mean, honestly, like I said, you didn't really miss out on much. I mean, honestly, it brought out a lot of people's true colors, I feel like, because yeah. especially everyone rebelling with, you know, this, the CDC, really. They're like, oh, no, like, we're not going to wear a mask or whatever and all that bullshit. So it, it was it was just chaos with society, I guess. But oh, at, yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, we can't control that. It, it's always yeah. going to be an issue. So, but damn, dude. Yeah, um, so like, yeah, no, 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 go for it. I, I was, I was going to bring up another topic, but you're good. You're oh, good. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, um, you know, like when, when I, even when I got back after the plan, like a lot of people were like fighting for like the, the toilet paper and just food and losing their jobs. And I was, I was grateful. Like, like, like no one really realized it, but the military was good. Like you were also getting paid also getting paid twice a month. Like I was still, I saw my, my medical benefits, my dental benefits, like, you know, and it sucks for other Americans that they were like, they were struggling during this pandemic and kind of trying to figure, figure the fuck out. And you're just like, fuck, you know, but this is a time where like people need to re- really think like, you know, join the military isn't a bad thing. You know? Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Um, it's definitely a, another perspective uh, at life, I guess. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, dude, that, that 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 time alone was was the craziest part because I feel like society will never handle like serious news, I guess, really well. Because oh, the moment yeah. that you know, the moment that the pandemic was announced, like everyone just kind of went crazy about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and they didn't know how to act and shit. So <laughs> yeah, I was on. But, I was uh, in Thailand when all that happened. I wasn't. I was in Thailand. Uh, I was in Thailand and we actually got out, got out for Liberty, which Liberty means like we were able to go out in the country and kind of like explore and spend some money and go out like on ourselves or eat, whatever, explore, explore the culture in that, in that country. And, um, yeah. and so this is when, when COVID was kind of like, like kind of starting its peak and they were kind of debating yeah. like, is COVID a big thing or not? Cause if not, if it is, we're not gonna let these guys out in Thailand. And at the end of the day, they're like, eh, it's not that big of a deal. Let, let, let them just go to Thailand. And so fucking, Everyone got off ship and we all went to Thailand. We partied, we did whatever we, did, whatever we wanted, we got back on ship. And then like a week later, that's when everybody went on quarantine. The whole world went on quarantine. Like, oh, fuck. Like, it was just like one week we were all, all in liberty trying to explore the Thailand culture. And then the next week, fucking the whole world went on lockdown. Like, fuck. Damn. Yeah. So if you don't mind going into the, into um, other cultures, because, I mean, you, you're you're Hispanic. So... You you have you've experienced Hispanic culture and American culture, but uh, now you have two other perspectives because you you oh, experienced yeah. uh, Japan and Thailand. Like, do you mind going into like different aspects of that? Like, like what what yeah, what yeah. are the differences and stuff like that? Similarities. Yeah, yeah I'll try my best. Um, so I mean, obviously, like in in American culture, like we're very loud. We like to eat a lot of junk food. We know we're kind of uh, we're very. I guess we're very confident. You know, in, in, I guess, in, in public, you know what I mean? We're not shy mm-hmm. or stuff like that. And in Thailand, I mean, in Japan, so I'll start off, I'll start off with Japan. In Japan, the, mm-hmm. the, the, the population is very, like, very, uh, I want to say very introvert. Like, they're very shy. They're very, like, kind of, like, to themselves. And, you know, they're kind of just, uh, they're very respectful and they're, they're very mannerful. But, like, it's just, type, they have like, a different type of, like, confidence about them. Like, they, they don't have a, that type of, uh, loud confidence that americans do so i mean it was definitely a shock to to me because obviously the the language barrier is one of them and they kind of like uh just um like the way they, their food the food they eat like it's the food they eat the way they dress and then like it's the vehicles they drive the, 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 all they drive over there is like is uh hybrids like that's all you see you, all you see is hybrids and box box uh kind of like the uh, fucking you know how uh antonio drives the fuck what does he drive the fucking the box the soul so yeah so uh there's a bunch of cars like that but like you know what i mean like they're all like it's all like toyota and nissan like it's all you see is just toyota and nissan they're all like small compact cars and then mm-hmm. uh it's very and I, I experienced okinawa japan and i experienced like mainland japan and mainland japan is a lot more like 
upbr- like more like, a lot more. I don't want to say like it's not like a. Uh, I mean, oh, like mainland Japan people they kind of look down on Okinawans because I mean Okinawa is a little more like it's a beautiful place, but like I guess there's their kind of culture a little more like uh, I guess like kind of like low low economic kind of. And you go to mainland, like it's a little more, uh, like more type of like I guess opportunities you could say. And it's it's very beautiful. The same 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 way though. Very they're very respectful to themselves and and kind of like the food's very delicious though. I I love Jap- the Japanese food it's, and it's very cheap too. Like I bought a lot of stuff from Japan, so it's cool. But and then Thailand. Um, oh, oh, here before before you go into Thailand, uh, yeah. if you don't mind me interrupting, no, go for it. it <laughs> this is probably a dumb question, but. So it's nothing like Tokyo Drift, the Fast and the Furious movie. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I actually uh, we walked through the area where uh, that, that that famous that famous drift happens in Tokyo Drift. We walked right there. Oh yeah. shit! Yeah, so we were right there. We, I went to Tokyo. I, I went to Tokyo. I mean, I went to mainland. I went from when I was in, on ship. We went from Okinawa to ship, and then from ship to Sasebo, Japan, and from Sasebo, Japan, we went to Tokyo, Japan. We, me and my buddies, took a we took a train from. Uh, Fuji, all the way to uh, Tokyo, Japan, and it was it was so fucking awesome. It was super super cool. Um, everything's everything's pretty much an American. We went to a mall. It was, everything was pretty much Americanized. Like like you have a bunch of like American brands and stuff like that. The food's still fucking Japanese though. But yeah, yeah. But we went to the, we went, we saw the like the, 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 the famous drift out of where or no, it was where he died. I think I think it was where he died. Where that dude died in the Tokyo drift. drift yeah, know? we saw that, uh-huh. that little spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we saw that little that that spot or whatever. It was pretty cool. Damn, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty badass. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, you you were gonna say about uh, Thailand? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Thailand. Uh, it was it was probably the best. It was probably the most fun I've ever had in my life. Um, as soon as I got to Thailand, um, all you hear is America, America, and then the, this one dude's I'm ah America. And he just starts making machine gun noises, and it kind of just made it kind of makes you think like, oh wow, is that is that how they think of us? Like, like they just think like we're like we're fucking machine gunners that are slash killers. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the, at the end of the day, we're like, yeah, fuck you. So we were going back, we were running, <laughs> but but um, I didn't get to experience a lot of Thailand. I just got to experience uh, P- P- Pattaya, which is like I don't know, I couldn't tell you where it's at, but it, it's Pattaya, Thailand, and it's like right along the coast. And that was pretty cool because as soon as you got into the, as soon as you got into the to the city, it's kind of like it's it's kind of like third world type of, kind of like torn down. Um, it's 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 it's, 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 it's definitely poverty, and then um, there's definitely poverty poverty in that area. But like as soon as you see, as soon as like uh, you walk into like there's there's bars everywhere. There's bars and strip clubs and just a bunch of stuff stuff in that area, and. Uh, as soon as you as soon as you walk in, like everyone's like you feel like Brad Pitt, like a celebrity, like everyone's saying like like everyone's grabbing you, like they're trying to talk to you and they're trying to like like trying to take like ask for your autograph and ask for your number and take me to America and stuff like that. So I mean, it was definitely it was super fun. Like all we did was drink and go out and have fun. But I think Thailand was probably the best best fun I've ever had. But uh I didn't get to experience like a like the culture itself because where we were at, like I said, it was just nothing but, but a party, a party time because they knew a bunch of military would go in that area and just spend their money on fucking booze and shit. So I didn't get to experience a lot of it. So, but it was still a fun time. It was still a fun time. Like, get to, like who says that they, they got to Thailand? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely true. Um, I, I definitely don't want to like throw him under the bus too much because of course it's still military, but Tyler definitely was overseas and I don't know if you know where he went, but it was, it was, it was definitely, yeah, he, well, Poland. Yeah, 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 someone there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he, I think for him though, I feel like it, it's definitely a different perspective than what you're, you know, telling right oh. now because it's obviously a different, a different culture shock than than oh, yeah. you know than what you got to experience. So, oh, yeah. but uh, I, I, I will say though that I, I, I kind of have always envied that about the military that you know the amount of travel, but at yeah. the same time you earn that travel and and experience. Because yeah. you're, you know, you're sacrificing your, your, yourself for, for the country, which I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a good cause in a oh, way, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's definitely, uh, something that, you know, I, I wish I, I, I got to experience, I guess. I, I feel yeah. like right now I might, I might be, I might be too out of the range to, to experience it, you know, military wise, but 
maybe yeah. maybe uh maybe on my own uh i could get to so yeah but, but i mean just to clarify yeah. like 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 i know we we're like saying we are partying and shit right on the military but like, <laughs> like our, our our ultimate goal was to to have have training in these foreign nations and to build an alliance or strengthen that alliance right so i don't want anyone you know thinking like oh the military is using my tech stars to go out and and party and whore around and stuff like that. Like, no, that wasn't the case. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like we, we, we train we train with we, we train with the Thai, the Thai Marines and we train with the Japanese military. Like it was it was just to build co- uh, cohesion and build alliances and and you know and to show presence in, in foreign countries to other type of adversaries that were kind of like you know kind of like maybe creeping up or kind of wanting to act a fool. So I mean at the end of the day like yeah. we are we're all humans and I think the military understands like we need we do need to like relieve some stress and like so I mean, and at the time, the Thailand happened. At the time when I went to Thailand, like my uncle had just passed away. You know what I mean? So I was on deployment, and so I didn't get to go. I didn't get to go to the funeral or anything. So I was like, it was a good type of like, like, oh, let me just kind of get my mind off of this. You know what I mean? Let me just go out and have a little fun. You know what I mean? Before I go in my room and start fucking, start fucking crying and shit. You know what I mean? So it was a good time. Like I don't regret it. Yeah. Well, sorry for your loss, man. But I, I definitely, um, I agree with that. You know, you definitely need. You're you're still away from family. You're still away from home. So yeah, sure. the least you could do is kind of experience the culture, you know. So. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, yeah. I think that's one thing. So, I, I, I'll go for my bed. Oh no, I was just gonna say that that. Um, so I guess was that was that pretty much like the more interesting things that you like picked up from from the travel experience and like the culture shock and stuff like that, or was there anything else? Um. I mean, travel, the camaraderie in the in the the Marine Corps. I think I I built some some strong motherfucking bonds through through, through the Marine Corps, and um, I mean it's 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 a little different between the the fraternity, you know what I mean? Because the fraternity, you know, your brothers, and then also a business aspect, you know what I mean? And then in the military, you know, it's uh, it's your brothers, but at the same time. The only business y'all have to handle is accomplishing the goal because you know I mean people's lives are at stake. You know what I mean? So that that uh, it's definitely a deep. It's de- I, me personally, like I, I love every everyone at OD five, but like it was more of a deeper bond in the military because like you know you're 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 you're, you're depressed. You know what I mean? Like you're you're sad because you know you're away from family or or something just happened, a loss, something like that. And so you know you have to you don't have family family or your college friends to lean on you, you know, when you're when you're feeling like that. And so obviously you you lean on, on your, your your fellow Marine to your left and your right and you know and you ask them to help to pick you up and and then not only that, but then you also, you go to the field ops and these field ops are like physically demanding or or maybe you might die because we're dropping bombs and someone might get shot in the ass or something like that. So it's like, it's, it's, it's just, you're, you're going through the suck. You know, I don't know if you heard that term, like, you know, embrace the suck. And so, I mean, there's been a bunch of embrace the suck in the military. Okay. Well, I, I was going to say, no, yeah, I definitely agree that the bond should be stronger, you know, in the military. Cause at the end of the day, you know, you're literally like life or death with your Marine uh, uh, buddies, as opposed to the, the you know the bond that we had as a as a fraternity so i i definitely agree with with the with that that yeah. difference i guess so oh, yeah, for sure. but yeah um so for those of y'all that are that you know will potentially be listening to this podcast through spotify or apple podcast or whatever it might not you know get a good perception of this man but darren darren is a good lucky man you know he's very handsome and now that he's fit yeah. because of the military he, he's a lot more uh, so I, I have a question for you. Um, yeah. What is, what is the best compliment that you've ever gotten, like your whole life, up to now? Oh, uh, mm, I think the, I think the, the best compliment I've gotten was uh, when, when I was in high school. Uh, there was this. Te- he was an assistant. He's an assistant principal, and uh, this was before. This is my senior year in high school. And uh, he, he, from right off the bat, he kind of had a, a bad, uh, a bad rap about me because I didn't, because I was, we were doing us, I was helping out with uh, student council, and I was, just, well, I was a student council. And I, I came and I didn't, have, I didn't shave. It was still the summer. It was still the summer, so I was helping out with like all the fucking freshmen and shit. And I didn't shave, and it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't that bad. But he started, he started bitching at me and stuff like that. I was just like, like bro, it's the summer. Like, and it wasn't, it's not even that bad. And I was just like, okay, I was like, whatever, that's fine, whatever. I'll just. 
shit the next fucking day. And anyways, the school goes, the school year, the school year goes on, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, the, he ends up stopping me. This is probably like a few months before I, I graduate high school and go to time to Corpus. And he stops me going to, going to my next class. And he's like, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, he's like, Darren, come over here. And I was like, I was like, yes, sir. He's like, you know, today I went into the, to the teacher's workroom and I said, I cannot do this job with these many, with, with, uh, kids that are just do not have respect for anybody. Like, I, I don't think there's one kid out there that has any respect or any type of hum- humbleness in this, in this, uh, in this school. And one teacher, and he's like, one teacher said, one teacher stepped up and, she, and out of all the students in your class and all the students in high school, she, she said, you were the only one that, that was humble and you're the only one that, that was, was respectful and that you, you're, you're, you're a well-respected person and that you're, you're hopefully, yeah, you go places. And he, and I was like, who was that? He's like, I'm not going to tell you who that was, but just know that people are watching you and people are looking up to you and people are hoping the best for you. And I was like, thank you, sir. And I just, and that was it. And. That's probably the best compliment I got. Damn. Well, I can definitely agree with that. I I definitely don't think that that, that has changed from you, uh, especially from the time that I knew you in college and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I, I feel like now if they look at where you are in life, you know, they can definitely say, oh, I was right about him. You know, I, yeah. I had no doubt that he was going to do great things and with his life. So, yeah. damn, dude, that's that's awesome. Um, OK, OK. Now, now to to, I guess follow up that question what is what is the ins- what is an insult that you've received and you're proud of an insult that i received and i'm proud of uh making you think boy <laughs> i think when i was uh i mean there's there's two i guess no actually there's just yeah there's two one is not that bad is when it was when t when i don't know if you remember t yeah. Big bro, yeah. He, when he told me that uh, the name of our, our, our family tree is Chocante tree. I was like, why is that? Uh-huh. Like, we're stuck up. And I was like, <laughs> right. And then the other one was, um, the fucking, when I was, when I, when I was like a rookie, we call them boots, right? That's, we, that's what we call our, like our rookie Marines. Like when they just got to, got to the unit, we call them, um, we call them boots. And so when I was a boot, um, uh, I, it was an insult. My, one of my seniors, our, the seniors, what we call it, are the people that are above us that they've been in for a little bit, and so they know their experience. And so uh, he t- he tells me, he's like, "You think you're so fucking smart because you went to fucking college?" He's like, "I don't care how, how fucking smart you are, or or the, something along the lines of that." And I was just like, "As long as you know I'm smart." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn that that I mean that definitely comes off rude, but. Um... Oh, I, the reason why yeah. I, yeah, I was gonna say that the reason why I I ask those questions is because I feel like if if anybody knows how to handle like you have to know how to handle you know certain compliments and insults like you can't just react on impulse especially if it's an insult for example um, but I feel like you you have always been good at at reacting to things like that like like for example you know you mentioning the chocante uh, thing like. It's I, I wouldn't really classify you as a chocante person or a stuck up person. I, if anything, if anything, it'd be more a confidence because yeah. you know you know your you know your worth and you know you know you know what you can offer basically. So yeah, yeah. And and as far as like insults, you know, like it's it's never been you know it's never been you like I guess feeding into that fire. Like it's always been re- re- responded or reciprocated respectfully in a sense. Like like oh that's what you think of me, cool, and then you just yeah. move on from it. You know. So and yeah, that's that's just kind of how it should be. No, yeah, that's how it should be. So. No, yeah. Um, what did I say? No, yeah. I definitely, I definitely agree with that. I appreciate that because I mean, I mean, I wish I would have, I would have known that too when I when I was a boot. Because I mean, those, I mean, that, that that's just one insult. You know, I mean, I was I was insulted every freaking day when I was a boot. I was, yeah, for real. Like, I, like what was it? when when's when's men's health uh men, when's men, men's mental health, health month? Is just past, right? Well, anyways, I think so, I was, yeah. yeah, I was fucking depressed as shit when I was a boot. Like I was just, I was. It was so hard, like transitioning from, from like paying paying your own bills and going to class and having your own timelines and you know being responsible for yourself. You know what I mean? And then coming into military and have someone your age, the same age as you, you know, kind of bitching at you and telling you shit and kind of just like 
you having to suck it up because I mean he has a higher rank than you, you can't do shit about it. And so you know it kind of just humbles you and it humbles you even more than you already were and it kind of just puts you in a perspective like uh, like you know what I mean? Like kind of it just humbles you and it kind of just puts you down, but like eventually you, you have to overcome it and move on and move past it. I I'm so glad that you brought that up because I I don't think anyone has been able to I mean I'm sure other people have but I don't think anyone has been able to describe the breaking down aspect of the military because I've always heard that from recruiters that that you know they they're they're, they're going to bring out the best in you and stuff like that because essentially they break you down to to build you back up but you're the one that's doing the building it's it's not yeah. like it's not like people handing shit to you you know you're you're doing the building and you're proving to yourself while also proving to others that, that you can do anything basically. And oh, yeah, definitely. I, I definitely, I definitely like that, that, uh, that description that you just gave about that. Cause, or that example, I guess, cause you know, yeah. no one really, no one really sees it that way. They, they just kind of see it like, Oh, you know, the military is just hard, but it's like, it's hard if you, oh. in a sense, let it, let it kind of get to you. Oh but, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, like I, boot camp didn't break me. I, just, I I was so fine, you know. what I mean, yeah, I cried a little bit, and it kind of like kind of sucked a little bit too. But yeah, I that didn't break me. It was I didn't get broken until I joined the, my unit and just kind of went up through so many so many downs and a little bit of ups. You know, all through my four years, you know, I had a bunch of ups. I'm sorry, I had a bunch of downs and a little bit of ups. You know what I mean? And I just it's just like took a lot of toll on me and so I finally was able to move past it and kind of just start start being happy again and kind of you know being motivated again and kind of like getting into it again so I mean yeah so like it broke me down built me back up and, like I, and that's why I say you know I'm, I'm a better person for it and I'm a, I think I'm more humble than I was more or m more humble than I was uh, before college or after college mm -hmm. oh yeah um so I guess giving a little backstory and context about you, you, you were, you, you played sports in high school, right? Like you played football, yeah, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I played football, um, track, tennis. Baseball too, or just the football and yeah, track? Fuck, no, fuck baseball. You did <laughs> tennis? I did tennis, yeah. Me and, me and Antonio will go to the court every once in a while, like, and on the weekends, we go hit the Boston tennis. Damn, I did didn't you, know that. That's, that's a, that's did a you come with us one time? Maybe it was JD. No, I don't know. it's probably that's JD, probably JD. Yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. go to the court. Yeah. Antonio will kick my ass. Yeah, Antonio will kick my ass. Yeah, dude, he's been he's been uh in he's been in like participating or playing in, in a in a league. So yeah, he's, he was telling he's that. doing it more constantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he and I'm definitely happy to see that you know, he's doing something that he loves. Because I mean, of course, you know, we have our career, but we still have to do other things that we we're passionate about. You know, and and I know oh, he yeah, was dude. very passionate. Oh but, yeah, uh, dude. What, what, go for my shit, Uh I almost slipped over here, but uh, I was going to say the reason why I was bringing that, that conversation or that topic up is because uh, obviously, you know, not like talking down on the military or anything like that, but in, in a way, was there something else like perhaps in the, in the athletic field, I guess, that you would have gone to if it wasn't for the, the military kind of thing? Like, did you have a dream of being like a pro athlete at some point? Nah, not really. Um, uh... Man, I mean, I'm good at sports, but I'm, I, I want to say I'm the best at it. I want to say I'm great. I'm saying I'm pretty good. I'm pretty athletic. But uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, just bouncing off of that, like I, I, I do jujitsu now. I'm a blue belt, so yeah. And then I'm also, oh, I'm also, a, yeah, I'm a, and I'm also a martial arts instructor in the Marine Corps. So I, I teach people how to like to fight and kill and shit like that. So yeah. Didn't you? Weren't you doing that like growing up too? Like because you had a belt at some point, no? no or you just no. always wanted to get into it? No, actually, I didn't. Even, I never even thought about. it. I wish I would have started in college. I wish I would have started when I was with you guys. Uh, but I no, I, I didn't. I didn't start till two till after my first appointment. I didn't get into jiu-jitsu. and I just picked up blue belt uh, about two months ago. I just picked up blue belt. Is that yeah. what? I guess what? What's the what's the, is that the highest ranking right now, or like, no, or does there still more rankings? No, yeah, no. Uh, I'm at the second rank. So is is white belt, okay. which is the beginner, and then blue belt, mm -hmm. and then purple belt, and then brown belt, and then black belt. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, and that's separate. And in, in the Marine Corps, I'm a brown belt instructor, which means I, I'm able to teach up all the way up to a brown belt moves. Yeah, but okay. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty badass. I enjoy, I enjoy it. Um, it's super fun. It, get, it helps me get the beast out of me and be a little more nice to people that I that told me I'm mean. So, 
<laughs> have you heard that a lot in the military that you're mean or what uh yeah i've actually um a lot of people tell me, a, lot, a lot of my buddies tell me that i'm that i'm a dick and i was like was you're fucking stupid <laughs> i'll say something i'll say something I mean, you know how i am or how it was yeah yeah and so uh i mean yeah so like you know i am humble but honestly i, I think i am a little bit meaner but I, I but i mean i'm not i'm not an asshole but i think i think there's times where I don't, I don't like to put up with shit. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't like to put up with, with things I think that could be handled in a different light or if, I, if things could, or things get kind of get out of hand. Like I think someone should step up and, or like something I just feel like maybe that person be, needs to be stood up for, or maybe I, maybe I think you're being a piece of shit and you need to know you're being a piece of shit. And so I need to be a piece of shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, I get you. See, and I guess that's where, where T would kind of, or had made the assumption of you being chocante because it, it's it, it comes off that way like chocante and stuff yeah. but it's not it's it's you standing up for the for the weakling in a sense or for the for the situation like I, yeah. I, I've, that's something that i've always known and admired about, about you so i yeah. like i said i definitely don't agree that you're chocante you're more yeah. more more humble and confident in that way so uh, but appreciate it yeah um so I'm a, I'm, I'm, we're slowly coming to the, to the end of it, but not, yeah, not really, because th there's definitely some, there's definitely three, three more topics, I guess, that I definitely want, you know, uh, yeah. deep, deep answers from, but, um, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a let you start thinking right now before, uh, cause before the episode ends, I want you to tell me who the next guest will be. So that is something that I've, that, that I am doing this season, uh, on the podcast. Uh, I'm letting the, the guest of the week choose the, the next um the next guest of course be, be realistic about it too because you know there 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 have been people that have come in and out of you know my life and your life and stuff and oh, yeah, yeah. there might be people that 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 you know you might think are still there but they're probably not um so i guess before the episode ends if you if you kind of want to keep it in the back of your head and then tell me then um yeah. that, that'd be good um of course somebody new too because you know we already had antonio i don't know if if that was somebody no, yeah. that you might have thought of. Um, I saw Dalian. I heard Dalian and then right there off the back, Dalian was like, I hate it because I got to do things. I'm like, damn, dude, you fucking dick. Like, fuck. I, I, saw, I didn't even watch it. I, I turned, oh, you did? I, I stopped watching when he said that. I was like, fuck this guy. I was like, God damn, when did Dalian become a dick? Dalian was always a fucking <laughs> sweet guy. Dude, I told him to say that. Man, mm. that was all on me. Because it's no, like I, I told him, I always... Dylan. <laughs> I always have like something stupid to to begin the episode with. Oh, okay. I, I don't know My if bad, you. Dylan. I don't know if you. No, you're good. I, I don't know if you saw the the previous one. Well, with, with Antonio, Antonio said some random quote, and then with uh, Jordan, um, the next guest, he he. We both said. I don't know if you ever seen the 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 vine of this guy that was sitting outside some steps in like New York City, and some girl walks by, and he's hearing the conversation, and the girl's like, and they were roommates, and then the guy just goes. And they were roommate, like you know, just something stupid like that to kind of kind of break the ice, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I told Dalen to do that because, dude, this guy's is such a sweet soul. So <laughs> that's why I was like, "When the fuck did he become a dick?" <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, his episode got really, really like deep because Dalen's uh, very smart. I mean, I'm sure you. Oh yeah, remember. of course, he's a very smart guy. He, of course, he's he's very smart, and his his viewpoints on a lot of things are like factual like this guy is not just you know saying shit out of his ass like yeah, he does he does his research on stuff <laughs> he does his research and shit so but anyway no, yeah. so that that's that's definitely something that i that i want you to kind of think before you know the, the, the before we wrap up the episode but the next main point that that i want to go into is is what is your message to the world or even to your younger self damn bad too <laughs> <laughs> starts uh, crying no. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> um message to the world i just mean i mean with today's politics and shit i think you just i think just be 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 what is it be empathetic be sympathetic and just kind of just love one another and and i think it I think yeah i mean i just love one another and don't be don't be a piece of shit like be a good motherfucker. You know what I mean. Um, yeah. to my younger self, I think I would just say, uh, just be smart with the decisions you make. You know, because they 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 will they will affect you in the future. And you know, just be appreciative. Be appreciative to what you have, 
and uh, just you know, just keep 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 your fucking eye on the fucking prize because like, even though like you have a lot of fucking bad days, you know you're gonna have you're also gonna have some good days, and you know like, you know after a storm, you know comes sunshine and fucking rain, and fucking with rain comes fucking grass and flowers and all those other fucking microorganisms. Shit, I don't fucking know, but you know what I mean, like just. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that'd be my that'd be my message to my younger self. Okay, would you say your your proud your younger self is proud of you now? Yeah, yeah, I I I, I definitely say my younger self. Even four years ago, my younger self is proud of me now. Um, mm-hmm. What can I say? I'm proud of myself back in the day. Probably not. Like, there's things like I I regret. There's some things I I could take back, and there's some things that. Uh, that I wish I would have been a little more mature, a little more responsible about, uh, mm-hmm. and just you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I I'm proud of I'm myself right now today. Like I'm proud of who I am right now, and I'm proud of who I who I, who I knew who I am going to be in the future. You know what I mean? So I'm excited mm-hmm. for the future and for myself and for you know my my wife, well my future wife, and then my fucking that future family. You know what I mean? So just it's coming. You know what I mean? So I'm excited to see what what's in store for me. That, that's that's awesome, man. That's nice. That, that's a nice answer for sure. <laughs> um, the reason why I brought up the younger self, though, is because you you're an older brother, right? To, to, oh yeah, to I'm, I'm brothers. The oldest. three brothers. Yeah, I'm the oldest. Oldest. Okay. Yeah. Um, as far as later than right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. No, but um, like I said, the reason why I brought it up is because you're you're the oldest uh, of siblings, so you had siblings that looked up to you and. Would you say oh, yeah. that that they that they have been like looking up to you as they should, or or would you say they could do better? And if they come across this message kind of thing, like, would you feel like it'll it'll hit them in a soft spot? Uh, I mean, yeah, I I think I think I think they're looking up to me. Um, do I think they could do better? I think any, everyone could do better. You know what I mean? I think anyone could just you know if you're if you're satisfied, if you're comfortable in your living situation now, like don't be like just. You know, just uh, get out of your comfort zone and keep going. So, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I hope I, I hope I, I, I'm try to be as good of, as, of a mentor and a, a role model to them. You know what I mean? Because I mean, if you're not, then you know who, who else is who, who else are going to look out to? You don't want them fucking being a role model for some for some other dude they don't fucking know. Yeah. No, yeah, that uh, th- that's definitely a a soft a soft point, I guess, or a soft spot for me. I I, I have, I'm the youngest out of four siblings, but I, I have honestly, bro, like it's, I've, I've learned to just accept it, you know, because they're, regardless, they're still my, 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 my family, my blood, but I, I didn't have that, that, uh, that example to like look up to. I had the example to not look up to because obviously some of the decisions that, that were made by my siblings weren't the best but at the end of the day i still love them and i still you know want the best for them and hope for the best for them you know hope, hope that they learn their lesson and actually you know do better in life and stuff like that especially now that oh yeah all of them all of them bro i, I have families now so i'm i became an uncle at 11 bro and now i'm the <laughs> uncle to i'm the uncle to four kids now <laughs> oh, so shit. yeah three three living and then one on the way knocking on wood that everything goes well um, yeah, yeah, for sure. But it it'll be in September. Actually, will be the, the, oh, the shit. birth year, birth month. So you know, hopefully, like I said, everything goes well and that happens. But but awesome. um, yeah, I definitely, like I said, I I wouldn't say I had envied that that aspect of people that have had like you know a a, a like that good big brother younger brother relationship. I yeah. I've always just like like I've always just been grateful that that person that I was seeing and you know in my peripheral or whatever. I was I was grateful that they got to experience it because you know yeah. not not a lot of people not a lot of people are grateful about those things and it's a lot of things that are you know get taken for taken for granted and they don't realize it until it's gone basically so I I definitely like I said I can definitely uh, agree and I and I hope that your your younger siblings are looking up to you in the in the in the right way that they should and are are learning through you and are you know wanting to become better people uh, on their own. So, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, well, 
with that being said, dude, we're kind of wrapping time up on uh, right here. Um, yeah, I definitely want to. I definitely want to recap it a little bit, dude. It's it's definitely been a journey. You know, who would have thought that we we would have met? What was it? Uh, now it's six years ago. Yeah, because I met you in yeah. 2016. Yeah. And you know, now we both have you know professional careers in the sense. You know, we're both college graduates too, and we're we're essentially having like a grown up conversation as opposed to just a normal, you know, lunch conversation in the UC. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. Oh, I did have one. I did have one more question. I, I knew you had tattoos in the, in, whenever I met you, D- did you add any more that, that? Yeah. You- I have a, a tiger right here. So my furious okay. motherfucking warrior. And I, have, <laughs> I have one on my foot. I show you, but it's going to be an awkward position, but it's, it's just a, a, a dress, an Indian a dress head from a unit because we're, we're known as the Mohicans, and so it's like it's oh, like okay. a fucking scold out fucking Indian ready to fucking kill some motherfucker. Damn, dude. Yeah. yeah, see, I've I've always known that you had like significance on your tattoos because the 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 one that you had was a quote, right or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was trying to get one removed. <laughs> yeah, there. I got that one at the Super Bowl when we all went when, when it did, did Daniels. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Why are you trying to get it removed if you don't mind? Because I want I want I want something different. I just want I want something different of it. I want I want to add like pictures to it. I don't want fucking quotes and shit. I don't know if you've heard of the of how the tattoo removal process goes, but apparently after the sessions that you go to and shit like that, eventually your body basically like so so what the laser does it breaks down the the, the ink right yeah but then your body your body shits it out so I don't know if you knew that. Sure. I mean, yeah, I, so I know, essentially I, I know it's pushing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. It, it essentially just just breaks it down and it goes into your skin, but your body absorbs it to to flush it out, basically. So oh, wow. I, I thought I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. But, but yeah, but uh, anyway, well, with that being said, dude, again, thank you for for joining me with this episode. Um, I'll definitely send you the the link and everything once it's up. I don't know if you subscribe to the Spotify podcast. Yeah, yeah, I did, haven't. I did, I sure did. Cool, cool. If you had, if you did, that's awesome. Um, I. I'm sure you'll you'll hear it uh hopefully by the weekend i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to have it up by the weekend okay. but uh i'm also i'm also on the uh on youtube if you ever want to see the actual video part of it uh i'm i mostly with with the video itself i i normally like i said i just keep the raw footage on that uh okay. for the for the audio part i do uh edit it just to you know make it sound better and of course cut things in and out um yeah, yeah. but anyway like I said, thank you, dude, for for one for your service, two for hmm. you know joining me, um, joining me on the podcast. I know it was super sudden. Like literally, this was the only conversation I had with you. Like I was like, hey, dude, like you want to be on the podcast, and then boom, you were down for it. Yeah. Which not gonna lie, not gonna lie, I I thought you were gonna be busy and not do it. So I, I thank you for proving me wrong in a sense and actually joining yeah. me. So, um, but uh, yeah, dude, I hope. Uh, I mean. Maybe it might not be the way you want to spend your birthday, but a happy birthday, dude. You know, one more year, one more year of life, one more year of possibilities. Yeah, and for sure. You know, and just know that whenever whenever you're in town, just let me know and, you know, we can catch up even more. But uh, yeah. now, now, is, now is time for you to reveal who your potential guest will be. Um, I will say if, if you do want to, you can tell me too. So let's say... You, your first choice and I, I hit them up and they're like hey i can't do it uh, i'll give you the the, the liberty to choose a, a backup okay. i guess yeah, so. yeah uh who who chose me dalen oh really that's a surprising one hmm. yeah uh what was i gonna say who who have you had on the podcast uh all, like all time like the whole yeah, yeah. Thing, the whole so better, so, yeah so i can make a better judgment well, uh i've had Ivan, Ricardo, David, Antonio, uh, Jordan, Dalen, Antonio, or I said Antonio already. Uh, and then uh, you, I guess. Uh, yeah. Have you had Dylan? Yeah. You say Dylan? Dylan Gomez? Yeah. No. You <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, I, he's one that I have not talked to in a long time. So uh, I, I, I haven't. I mean, I thought me and him had bad blood, but. I mean, he posted me on his on my on his Instagram saying, you know, thank you for your service, brother, and stuff like that. And I, you know, Dylan's. I think he's definitely matured from from college. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I 
You don't have to. I'm just saying. But if not Dylan, then get get another perspective from Tyler. Oh shit! Okay. Military. Okay. Th- these are honestly these are these are pretty hard choices, but may, I'll, I'll let you do a third just in case. Just... <laughs> God damn! All right. Uh... Fuck. Should I try Jacob? No, not yet. I can. There is. I can definitely. Okay. Interesting. Damn, your whole treat. And no, I was just kidding. No, what Dylan and Tyler weren't, but. <laughs> no. But yeah. no, I, haven't okay. even, I haven't even talked to Mark. Mark doesn't talk to me anymore. So, so there. Yeah, I think, I think, I think everyone, I think we had, no one has really heard from him, so. Yeah. But, but okay, I'll, I'll let you know who I guess, who I end up yeah, deciding, dude. I guess, but. Okay. Well, dude, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna roll the uh, outro for it, and then we'll call it a a day with that. Um, yeah, dude. This has been this has been nighttime with G, season two, episode four. Shout out to Darren, thank you for your service, and we are out. Mm-hmm.